Busa. <laughs> In here. Come on, <laughs> he just swept the floor. All right, here at Tricked Out, here with my man Steve. He's going to tell you a little bit about a shop. He does some amazing custom work on motorcycles. Go ahead, Steve. All right, well, you all know it's Tricked Out Cycles. Uh, we've been doing crazy bikes for years, paint, fabrication, my four-wheeler, three-wheeler designs. Um, we're here to do something different. DIY guy has brought me a very interesting project and I'm on board. So I have a custom motor that we put together. It's got 300 pounds of torque. Um, things should be able to clear about 120 miles an hour. And we came up with a great idea. Come on back and follow, see what we got going so far. Let's go check it out. Some of the custom builds putting together. So we decided what better way to start off this than to use the fastest bike ever made, the Hibusa. So what we're doing is coming over here and building from scratch a total custom Hibusa. Thing's going to be sick. So this is what we're building. It's going to have 300 pounds of torque, 1,000 amps on and through it. It's going to be absolutely insane. Um, this is way beyond my scope of a build, which is why I came to the only person I know who could pull this off and the only one crazy enough to pull this off. Steve, we're going to try to get this together. What, two months? Two months start to finish? Um, more like six weeks. Six <laughs> weeks till the show. Come visit the booth and check it out. It's going to be fully done. You can see where we're at. If it's not fully done, it's still going to be there. So come check it out, follow us, and we're going to take you through each part of the build as we're going. We're going to be um, offering this at Steve Shop Trick Motors to get these custom put on to your bike. If you have a bike that has a blown engine, anything like that, EV is the way of the future. This is the new Tesla of motorcycles. Um, hate saying it, but F uh, Harley, F uh, Zero. This is where it's at. This is gonna be absolutely sick. So when it's done, come out and see us, visit us, come say hi, check out the bike at the Philly Auto Show, along with a couple other absolutely tricked out bikes that he's put together uh, that we're gonna bring with us. So like, subscribe, and leave some comments down below. Ask any questions. You need any work done, come over to Trick Motors and PA. We make it functional right first. Uh, and we're really starting just from the basic frame and a project bike that I scratched several years ago. Um, and this is the best way to bring it back to life with new concepts, new modes of transportation are just around the corner. EV is the way to go. And uh, I'm really happy to be on board on this. So everybody keep posted. Uh, this is gonna be really neat. Check us out, the Philly Auto Show with Dub Magazine. The DIY guy, tricked out custom cycles. Stay tuned. Hey everybody, we're back at uh, Tricked Out Customs. We're, uh, what, seven days in? Yeah. Seven yeah. days in from when you saw the frame. And this is where we're at. Go ahead, tell them what you did so far. Well, it's maybe been seven days, but I only have about six hours working <laughs> on it. Uh, most of it was finding, like I said, the bolts and the hardware and getting it to what you see now. What's getting, you know, our tail section on there, the uh, regular inner fender tray, getting all the regular bike components on it. Got the controller just kind of getting the positioning uh, where it's probably going to go. Hanging out. Sorted out. Got the batteries laying on it. Uh, the first two are going to get them mopped up. Plenty of room for the two other batteries. We're going to make the cradle next week. Um, then uh, you can get here and do some wiring. And it's the wiring time. Get it all hooked up. So. Keep following the build. We're gonna keep posting every week until the car show, till it's done. Um, then we're gonna bring you the next one. I think we're gonna do a couple Harleys. We're gonna do a uh, Ducati. Um, coming up with some ideas on transmissions. Uh, I don't think anyone's got an electric transmission for one of these yet, so.
got the uh, batteries configured exactly where I'm going to mount them up. I need to get some hardware to weld up some mounting brackets. Uh, I'm utilizing the existing front engine mount to support the batteries. And then I'm going to lead off of that with some cage work. So now that the tank goes on and off, my little shell of a tank, I am going to shape this a little better, adhere the tank to this. I'm also going to heat warp this down and get this to follow the body lines of the frame, subframe a lot smoother. And then we'll uh, probably be ready for painting this in. Gonna fill in the gas cap, or I might do a custom light up section there, or I may do a charging there. I'm not, not really sure yet. I have a couple options that I'm gonna work through and figure out and get that, uh, you know, one of the last steps, so I'm gonna get that done. Um, so the sides are black. We're gonna do a quick shoot on the tail section. Quick shoot in the tank. Uh, we're mocking up the front fender, making some fender mounts. Uh, I think we found a Kawasaki Z1000 front fender that we would like to shape up. It was sitting in the back, we're running with it. Um, so yeah, it's really coming along good. Made a lot of progress today. Uh, there's not too much more um, rough fabrication to do. We're gonna make a wiring harness for the uh, lighting system. I'm not using any of the existing wiring harness from the Hayabusa except from the switch housing to operate the horn, uh, headlights and turn signals, but uh, I'm just gonna go straight out for the plug, um, run my own wiring harness for turn signals, couple flashers, relays, and that's really all we're gonna need of a wiring harness for the bike, you know, except for the controls for the, uh, you know, the control unit and then uh, the batteries and everything will be contained within their own harness. So, so that way it's just the, the swap is everything it's own, it's own gauges, the batteries, the electronics, the drive motor, and then I'll make a simple harness for the bike. So that way the factory harness could be just removed, put aside. You certainly could use your factory wiring harness, but I didn't have it with this bike and why well, get one just to dissect it to use a few pieces of it. Um, so that's it, we're gonna get working on shaping up the tank. And um, after I do the lighting, wait for the turn signals to come in also. We have LED uh, turn signals uh, to put into the front. How's it going, everyone? We got the uh, Habus all wired up. We just got to button up some of the stuff. Switch to these new cells here. These aren't even on the market yet. These are brand new LG cells out of the bolt. We're going to put an onboard charger on here. Um, this is 180, 190 amp hours. Uh, Gonna run the plug coming right out the back. We got the DC to DC converter hooked up. Ages all wired up now. Boom. We're all good to go. So, come see us to Philadelphia Auto Show. And uh, let's see, we're gonna put this up against some other bikes we have. All right, catch you guys. Yo, what's going on, everybody? It's the last day of this build. Hopefully, we'll. Uh, be riding tomorrow, possibly later tonight. Bruce is getting final wiring with all of his fancy lights. Controllers hooked up. Still have to build a plate for the charger, the onboard charger. This charger's pretty cool because you can change the voltage. Not the voltage, the current that you're sending through it. So you can charge it slower or faster to maintain your batteries longer if you'd like, or fast charge it if you'd like to do that. You have the light up uh, windscreen. It's getting wired up right now. Why don't you meet me in the middle? Zach Efron in the background. Nothing but the best. Uh, my bad. I thought that's what I just said. So, <laughs> got this all plugged up to the controller. <clears throat> now comes the fun part of changing everything and uh, just programming it and making sure everything works. Um, so, yeah. We're just going to take it out, start driving it around, and then playing with the... Uh, Playing with the computer and seeing how we can get it to go the fastest without overheating. Um, then turn on the boost. I'm not gonna put on eco mode. So everything seems to be 
pretty good. All right, so I think we got it all tuned up. Feet just mounted in there. Lights flashing. But it really matters. So pretty cool, it's all ready. All right, it's been six weeks. And the bike is done. Alright, so this is the Philadelphia Auto Show. Check it out. We're posting some specs soon, taking it on the road, testing it, seeing how it does. And uh, yeah, so come check it out. Here we go. All go tuned up. For the environment. Here we go. I gotta go green.